Alrighty. We just got got into the office. Welcome to PC Building Simulator. Peanuts Computer Fixing and Building is our company name. So, uh, today we're going to be building a PC for Quibbles, actually. We're just, yeah, it's for Quibbles. Uh, he actually wants just the beefiest computer I can build. So, with this case, we're going to try and build him the beefiest computer I can build. Let's go to motherboards. Let's look at motherboards and see which one. And he's doing a lot of gaming. So, I guess we'll go for this one. Yeah, we're going to put it in the motherboard. We have auto screws. Motherboard is in. How many sticks of RAM can this hold? See, one, two, three, it looks like. We'll go ahead and put some memory in there. Some RAM. Uh, what kind of... RAM should we get? We should get... Do we have any 8 gig? Oh, 16 gig stick. Wow. Alright, so it has 4 slots, it looks like. It's 16. We can get 64 gigs of RAM up in here. Now, that would be pretty crazy, but... That would also be very expensive. So, what other RAM do we have? Let's see. We have a lot of different types of RAM, but we do want one that has... If we can, we want to get the same matching RAM. Yes. So anyway, it's 32 gigs of RAM. And I think we already used up all the RAM that we have. That's compatible. That's... I mean, 32 gigs of RAM will be enough. He currently has 16. Yeah, so we'll just be, go with that. And now we're going to want to go for a CPU. Can we put an i9 up in here? No, we cannot get an i9. Uh, do we have any CPUs that are compatible with this motherboard? Um, that's a little weird. We don't have any CPUs. Okay. I think we're gonna have to go with another motherboard. Because... You guys know anything about computers? Uh, we need, uh... You need to be able to have a CPU, and none that we have right now, unless if I order it, we'll be able to... How am I gonna move this? Oh, the cables are connected. I can make the dust filter real quick. We're gonna unplug the motherboard. We'll re we will remove the top. Unplug. Remove. 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 We can go ahead and remove everything just so it's easier to get around. So it looks like we can remove the motherboard in just a second. And we're going to actually disconnect the fans too, because we're going to replace those. Okay. Yeah, so right now this computer is down to the bare minimum. So, oh, uh, we need to... Uh, where's motherboards? Okay, so we'll put in the gaming 9. This is. No, we just have the gaming 9. Where's the gaming 4? We'll go ahead and put in the gaming 4 because I feel like that's a little that great, but it's just a motherboard. It's not too much. I'm going to go ahead and put in a CPU. i9, that's really good. It's just not the X series. So go to go ahead and put that in. Alright. Now that we have the CPU in, we can go ahead and close the door. Can't forget the thermal paste. That would be really, really bad. CPU cooling? What kind of RGB fans? Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, we're gonna need... That's for water cooled. Okay, thermal 100, that'll work. It's just a fan. 
Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and go to case fans. Let's put in this red fan because this looks nice. Yeah, that looks pretty gamery. That's giving me gamer vibes. Okay, now that we got the CPU in, um, looks like we're are gonna need RAM, so we'll go ahead and put in. We'll go ahead and put in all the RAM that we can get in here. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and go to memory. Sixteen gigs, and then. 16 gigs. Okay, so it looks like you have to have all the same, but 2 gigs will be fine. Or 2 sticks of 16 will be fine, because that's what we had on the last one. That is a lot of RAM. That's 32 gigs of RAM, so that is a lot. That's the max that most computers can fit. Alright, what goes here? Drive bay? I don't want... Oh, that's for like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what we need to put there. So we are gonna actually need where is drop bay? <clears throat> We're gonna need to put some memory in here or some uh, storage in here. We'll go ahead and put in just for now just some two hundred gigabytes. Then we'll go ahead and go in for some five hundred gigabytes. And then five hundred gigs. Okay, we can't fit any more storage. Uh, it's I think eight hundred gigabytes. I don't really know what the first one was. But whatever it is, 500 gigabytes, you can always add an extra on a hard drive. Next, we're going to go for GPUs. I think I have some 3090s. Okay, so 3090 does not fit. Do we have any 3080s? We got a 1050 Ti. Alright, I think Quibbles will be fine with the 1080 Ti, because right now he has a 1650, so... Or 1660. So that's not much compared to what he has right now. So that's pretty good. Uh, power supply should be good enough. Uh, oh, the, usually power supplies go in the bottom. This computer is different from every other computer that I put in. Uh, Quibbles likes teal, so we'll go ahead and put in some teal wires for him. Never mind. We already got the case fans. We're going to go ahead and... What else do we need? I mean, we got a motherboard, we got CPU cooling, we got storage, we got graphics card. No, did we put the 1080 Ti in? We did. So, looks like we just need to close everything up. So, we're going to go ahead and put back on the top panel. That makes it look a lot better. We're going to go ahead and put on this side panel. And then, we're also going to go ahead and put in the PCI covers for the GPU. So it looks like we need to remove this in order to do that. Go ahead and put on the PCI covers. Because those are important for dust, I think. Not really sure. But I do know in this game you need them on to be able to actually run the computer. And if we get quibbles to another computer in the future, maybe we can uh, Um, uh, get a bigger case and get him some 3090s, maybe two 3090s. No, that would be pretty crazy. We put on the dust filter. Go ahead and... Where's the handle go? The uh, handle goes right there. Handle goes probably, yeah, I guess right there. And then we put on this and then we go ahead and put on the top panel put on the side panel the computer should be ready to go she looks like the computer that we got quibbles is running but where do we plug in the usbs at because that's going to be important because we're going to need to be able to put on the uh operating system Okay, so it looks like in order to do that, this is kind of silly. We have to take this off in order to even plug in a USB drive. Now, in my opinion, that's not really good because you'll have to unscrew the screws every single time that you want to plug something in. But it does look neater. So we're going to turn off the computer. And then now that we turned off the computer, 
uh, it's going to restart. And hopefully the operating system comes back to us whenever we come back. Looks like it's running. Oh, place computer. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the computer. And then usually you guys will have to plug in the wires yourselves. But I have an extra decal because I have the money for it. So actually, we're doing this. And we're going to go ahead and boot this up just to make sure it works. New operating system found. So I guess if we don't have an operating system, I'll just go ahead and remove this and maybe Oh the USB system somehow didn't I just plugged it in. Somehow it snuck out on us. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and restart the computer. Now turn on the computer. Alright, now that we turn on the computer. Looks like it's booting up for the first time, so it's going to need to install the operating system, installing all the stuff. Now that we did do that, now it says, and now we'll, we should be able to give it the quibbles later. Alright, perfect. Let's just, yeah, it's got all the uh, stuff on it. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're just going to install a program real quick to make sure that it does work. We're going to restart, yes. We're going to go ahead and boot up the company computer. Now, this is a company computer that we have. It actually has um, a good... It's just for the email, so we don't need too much for it. As you, as you guys can see, that's our email computer. This computer, which we'll just turn on the computer real quick. This thing has 64 gigs of RAM. It has a 3090 in it. That's just for ordering parts. I just had, you know, like 30, 39, uh, not 30, 30, 90s, but a lot of 30, 90s laying around. So I decided to just go ahead and buy that. Now it looks like this does work. Uh, so thank you guys for watching.